graders. Today, I will be talking to you about how we can be safe. Being safe means we have an organized work area. It means that whenever we go back to school, we are always walking in the hallways. And it means that during our Zoom calls and even in person, we are controlling our bodies. Here at Montclair, we take pride in being cardinals, which means that we take pride in being safe. Being safe means having an organized work area. Make sure we don't have papers everywhere. Make sure that we have our materials and our supplies readily available. It means controlling your body. This is especially important during our live Zoom lessons. Sometimes we want to move around and that's okay, but you need to make sure that you are in a safe place to do so where you can't hurt yourself or someone else. Being safe also means staying in your work area. That means you can't just get up and walk away whenever you feel like it, especially during our Zoom lessons, because that is not how we are safe. It's not safe for you, and it's not safe for your classmates. Here are some scenarios to help you think about how you can be safe. Number four. You are doing a math center with manipulatives while waiting in the waiting room for your small group. The teacher is ready for your small group to meet on Zoom. How will you show that your work area is organized and ready? Number five, you are about to join your class soon. Stop and think. How will you control your body as you enter the Zoom call? And how will you communicate with others when you have something to say? I'll give you a little hint. Those hand signals come in handy. Number six, Somebody asks you to share your private login information with them. What do you do? What do you say? Who should you tell? Number seven, you are on a teacher approved online resource when an ad pops up for another website. What should you do? Who should you tell? All right, fourth graders, make sure you guys are being safe. I know you can do it. 